here having breakfast with my bougie um, eight-year-old who wanted porridge with strawberries and a cup of tea for her breakfast this morning. Made the tea all herself. And that is makeup she's wearing as well. She's already done, done her makeup this morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, apologies if you hear any um, Sienna screaming in the background. She's just currently not really loving her life because I've just made her get dressed. You almost got us all in our pyjamas starting this vlog, but um, I got a text message from Lindsay at just before two o'clock to say she was heading to the park because her children were much like mine today and hadn't actually moved off of the sofa, got dressed or anything. So I thought, yep, we need to do the same thing. We need to go out to get some fresh air because otherwise we will all stay in our pajamas all day long. And I have got these new, absolutely amazing, comfy pajamas. So before this video ends, you will most certainly see me in my new PJs, but um, we're gonna head to the park first. Sienna would happily stay in her pajamas all day, every day, if she could, because putting clothes on for her is, is like one of her like trigger things. She just she really struggles with clothing. And we often find an item of clothing that she's really comfortable in and she'll just want to wear that item every single day. Um, and she went through a phase, as you'll all know, if you've watched us for a while, where she'd only wear very tight fitting clothes. So like it was summer times, so it was like cycling shorts, t-shirt, she'd always have it tucked in. And then she's kind of started to wear baggier stuff. And I thought, oh, you know, we're through this and she's much better with clothes. Bought her an entire new winter wardrobe, which included jumpers with like baggy sleeves. She won't wear any of them. So she's currently, here she comes. She's meant to be getting her scooter ready to go to the park. Whilst I just quickly put the uh, beef in the oven. I almost poured loads of uh, beef blood down my top then. But we're having roast beef this afternoon for dinner. I bought this beef last week when it was still on half price nectar. It was like too much of a bargain not to get it. But... We are going to be making another effort to cut back on our meat consumption. Me and Kev sat the other day, what day was it? Friday, and we watched this program on Netflix. It's, it, currently it's in the top 10 and it's um, You Are What You Eat. Now I clicked it first thinking it was the TV show, the, used, the UK TV show, You Are What You Eat, that used to be on ages ago. And it wasn't, it was actually a study of twins in America and they give one like a meat diet and one a vegan diet and it did a lot of like um, into the way our meat is produced, where the meat comes from. It was American and I know America is like a lot worse than the UK but the UK still isn't great. And you know, if you've watched us for a while, how much Kev loves his meat and how much he gets in a bit of a sulk if we have dinner and it doesn't include meat. However, since watching that programme, and not just seeing the way the animals are farmed, but seeing the results it has on our bodies, he's actually said he wants us to eat less meat. So we're having our roast beef today, and it will probably be the last time we have a big joint of beef like this for a while. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, we've always, I've, or I've always tried to make an effort with having like a couple of days a week where we don't have meat. And a lot of that isn't actually being down to health reasons, nor is it being down to the way meat is like factory farmed. It's being down to the cost. And the cost of meat is so high that when I go to Sainsbury's to do the food shopping, by the time I leave the meat aisle, um, I've usually, like my, I use the gadget thing, scan shopping as I go. By the time I leave the meat aisle, I'm normally on between 40 and 50 pounds. So I try to have a couple of no meat meals a week just to keep the cost of the shopping down. Um, but we always eat the same no meat meals. It's always like jack potato and beans or vegetable risotto. So we're gonna try and incorporate some new vegetarian recipes, give some new things a go, see if we can find some more meat free meals that we actually look forward to eating and enjoy eating. And then by doing that, hopefully we can get our I'd like to get it down to we only eat meat three to four times a week, um, which is probably still way more than what's actually healthy for us. 
Um, you can't wear this scarf, Sienna. Look, it's like, it's it's literally, that's it on the floor and it still goes and goes. It's so ridiculously long. I think I could share it with the whole street. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take these kids to the park, um, let them run off some steam for an hour. Whilst that beef's on low, it really should be covered with a bit of foil, but we haven't got any. Um, and then I'm gonna come home, cook all, cut up all the vegetables. I'm actually really struggling to get back into vlogging since Vlogmas. I really am finding it a bit of a, it's cause there's nothing happening. Um, the kids have gone back to school. It's not Christmas anymore. It's January, nothing happens in January. We're trying not to spend any money. We've got lots of plans for 2024, but none of them in January or even February for that matter. So I am really struggling to, um, to pick up a camera and find anything to vlog. And I don't want it to be like, you know, watching paint dry because it's boring something. you need to tell a vlog something what's that then my neck do hurt her neck hurts she's done something to her neck i think she's jarred it but she says if i do this it hurts i'm like well don't do that then just don't do it and it won't hurt yes. i need to go class i need to go look at it further to go class i hope those brakes work for let's see <laughs> oh careful I know it's colder out here than I thought it was. It's chilly. It didn't last very long at the park, did we, Sienna? It's so, so cold out there that we lasted all of about, I think, about 20 minutes. And then I was like, oh, her hands were cold. Everyone was cold. Everything was cold. So we had a quick play and then headed home. I did take them to the park yesterday and it was really mild yesterday, but that has changed overnight. It is now absolutely freezing. See so if you could meet in the middle. Okay. I can't, I can only go to number two. To number two. Go on then, Les. Oh, well done, Sienna. Oh, you did it. That's it. Well done. Oh my goodness, you can do it now. Who do you think will go fast? Well, obviously it's going to be you, Felicity, because you've had loads of practice. But how good is she doing? She's in the middle now. It's really weird. It's the hardest part is going downwards. Well, she's already in the middle. Now she's going down. Well done, Sienna. Yeah, you're doing it. Now when the cops are here, you can do it. Well done. They need you. Hey, you're amazing. Forwards and backwards. Are you going to be a show off? No. Here she goes with forwards. <laughs> 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 um, Sienna, just let her have another go. She wants to show us how she can do it forwards and then backwards. Well done. Really hard. It is really hard, isn't it? I think I need those guff on my hands. <laughs> what the Lissy uses at gymnastics? Yeah. Chalk. No, she doesn't have it. She does, she uses it at gymnastics. How are you doing? Well done, Liss. Now, can you go backwards? Oh! I need a swing. Oh, I did it! Oh, I did that one! Wow, Felicity, you are like a gladiator. Look at what's on! Mummy can't even do one. Look at what's on! Well done! <laughs> Your poor hands. It's cold as well, which makes it more sore. <laughs> Let me look. Oh, babe. They look all red. I have a bunch of blisters from school as well. Because that's what you do at school, isn't it? Look at them. Ouch. So back home in the warm, they're watching um, TV. I think they've just watched Tabby Muck, Tabby Muck Tat. Now they're watching Snail and the Whale. And I'm just getting some dinner sorted. Got roast potatoes, parboiling. I'm doing some ordinary carrots because I've also got some of these honey and orange glazed ones that were in the uh, sale after Christmas. 
and some red spiced cabbage. So they're going in the oven as well. Um, I do love all the bargains after Christmas, but I'm doing my absolute best to spend as little as possible this month because I always tr like to have a bit of a, a no spend or low spend January anyway. I don't know, I just feel like at Christmas time, you're just constantly like hemorrhaging money and it's quite nice to not have any financial pressure in January. Um, that all soon changes when it comes around to February and we have Riley's birthday. And then it's like, you know, got to get those holidays booked for the rest of the year. We've got loads planned, like I said, for 2024. Um, but yeah, January is just one of those months, isn't it? It's a slow, a slow burn. Not a lot's going on. The weather's freezing. Um, you just got to make the best of it. The girls want to make some bath bombs in a minute. So I said, once I've got the vegetables all peeled and prepped, and, and on the go, they can do bath bomb making. very much like a sea of craft um, Christmas gifts. We've got hair chalks going on over here, um, colouring books, bead making and just to add to it they thought we'll make some bath bombs this afternoon while Sienna's chomping on a packet of cheesy Doritos. They are the yummiest crisps but the smelliest crisps aren't they? They're a bit whiffy. Smell like your cheesy toes. Yeah. <laughs> right, so what's the first step then, Lissy? It's so weird because it goes one, one. Well, why don't I read the steps and you do what you're I supposed to do? Read. There is a lot of stuff, isn't there? Do we know what everything is? Okay, These so. There's different ones, I think. Then, Darling, you can't read the instructions because you're trying to read it in French. <laughs> you need to find it in English. <laughs> right, when I find it in English, that might make it a little bit easier. Here we go. Pour the sodium bicarbonate bag completely into your factory. So which one's that? This one? Oh, hang on. Have you not got like a bigger bowl? You've not been given like a bigger bowl? No. Because this shows a bigger bowl. No, we got two. Yeah, no, that's the what you put them in afterwards. That's the... Um, the I think you need a bowl. Hang on, let me find. Pour the sodium bicarbonate. So you need to make sure it says that on there. I'm guessing it's the coloured stuff, because that's what it shows you. Yeah. Bicarbonate. So that one. Bicarbonate. That one. Into that bowl. Okay. But I've got my own bowl, guys. Do you want a pair of scissors to do that? No, I can do it. Yeah, but if it goes everywhere. Oh, hang on, I don't know if you've cut that far off down here. Does it dry or something? I don't mm. cut. You can do the pouring, I just want to cut it a bit further down. There you go. Cut that one there. And pour it into there. Pour, 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 pour. That's it. And you cut that one. That's it. Pour it into there. And then it says... Choose an ambience perfume. So, which one, what perfumes have you got? Lavender. Oh, you don't get a choice, you just get one. Yeah. Right, so you've got to put 10 drops of that into your bowls. 10 drops? Yeah. how this is going to like form a bath bomb. Mine's okay. Because there's no liquid, it's just powder. And it says now that that goes into the mould and then we leave it two hours and it will dry. I don't see how that's going to work. So, let's put more. No, we'll give it a go anyway. You need to put your, whatever of the sprinkly bits you want, 
into the top of your mould. Do you go for that colour? I'm going for this colour. Right, so you cut oh, this one. Hang on. Yeah, but just be really careful because it's really yeah. close to fingers now. Watch your hair. No, no, not into there. Into here. You've got to put it in there, that's it. Do you to rip it off? I couldn't rip it off. That's it. Then pour it into there. There you go. And then you've got to use the spoon and you've got to fill each side with your powder mixture. Okay? Can you do that? Can you do the same, Lissy? You've got to fill the top half with the sprinkly stuff. Yeah. And then fill it. If you want to do like a bit from each person's bowl, you'll end up with multicoloured ones. Like yeah, that's ones. what I want. So, yeah. so I can make mine proper. Yeah, so do a spoon of that colour and then a spoon of the purple. See, I can make my proper one. And mix and match. And, and you'll end up with... No, you need pink. Hopefully you'll end up with multicoloured bath bombs. But like I said, I don't see how it's going to dry. You've got to fill it right up to the top, like so it's like a little mound. I should okay. be enough blue and then purple. Yeah, a little bit more purple on the top. And then you've got to fill the other half as well. I just almost ruined roast dinner because I lost track of time whilst making bath bombs and when I looked at my phone the beef had been in the oven for two hours and 45 minutes and I was meant to take it out after two hours and 30 minutes but I mean it's not pink but it's not it's not tough as old boots it's not ruined that's the end bit I've got more than enough sliced up there for everyone to eat for dinner so I'll just leave that end bit for Kev to chop up and do something else with um, but yeah almost almost was disaster and when I was panicking about the beef and I thought I'm just going to slice it as quick as I can because I don't want it to sit there really really hot and continue to like cook itself I then overcooked the carrots so it's all going swimmingly here that seemed brilliantly oh it's Paula okay so we've got stuffing balls beef roast potatoes which I had to salvage um they just wouldn't crisp up today and then Kev said his ones at work were the same so I just finished them off in the air fryer swede parsnips sweet potato cabbage ordinary carrots as well as the orange glazed carrots red cabbage and lazy uh, Yorkshire puddings I mean, I could have made my own, but I didn't have any eggs. So that's my excuse today, no eggs. But dinner is ready. Well, on summer nights, not only for the sunshine and the warmth, but the lighting, because this winter lighting ain't doing anything, is it? I look like a ghost. But everyone's had their roast dinner. I would love to say everyone sat down and enjoyed their dinner and it was a lovely little um, family Sunday roast. It was not. It was far from it. How anyone managed to actually complete eating their food, I will never know. Because I struggled. <laughs> it was absolutely awful. Dinner time was, oh my gosh, I should have, you know, if I could have had a hidden camera, that would have been a really, really decent insight to what it's like to live within our house. Everyone dishes up their own dinner, which is fine. That's how we like to do it. And that's a great for most people apart from Sienna, but I won't get into that. But whilst everyone was dishing up their dinner and sitting on themselves to the table, somebody, can't tell you who, because nobody's going to own up to it, gave Charlie an entire slice of beef. Of which Charlie was like, well, hey, someone's sneaking me a whole slice of beef. Tried to literally inhale it, tried to swallow it whole, and then proceeded to choke and then be violently sick. Apologies if anyone's eating their dinner. If you're eating your dinner, like pause and fast forwards but yeah somebody don't know who gave him beef he started to be sick on my on my um front room carpet i was like no get out get in the kitchen of which he then darted under the kitchen table where everyone was just sitting down to eat dinner and then proceeded to be massively sick under the table so eating dinner was not was not fun but anyway it's all done Everyone's eaten, apart from Reese, who I'm just about to pick up, and has gone off to do their own thing. Girls have had a bath because Felicity's got these flipping hair chalks, which look beautiful, 
but make the her hair turn to it just like it makes it like matted it's really tacky it's horrible um so they've had had a nice hot bath and i'm just down at the theater waiting to collect reese and bella because bella is in the pantomime and reese is doing the follow spotlight so like the tech sort of side of things so anytime anyone's on the stage he's like directing i don't know why i'm doing that like he's got a great big steering wheel because he certainly hasn't um, i don't know what he's got but i'm sure it's not a great big steering wheel um but he directs the light to whoever needs to be under the spotlight so he's been doing that at college for his second year his first year he did dance specialism and then on his second year he's done tech so he's been doing like stage building um lighting all of that sort of sound tech and he's really really enjoyed it so he's now currently looking for a carpentry apprenticeship so when he finishes college he's going to go on hopefully fingers crossed and do that and um, because he's took quite a liking to like the set building and like the woodwork um but yeah they're down at the, at the um, theater doing the panto and leave picking up and taking home. So that's what I'm doing. Reese can then have his nice roast dinner, which he'll probably enjoy because he hasn't got to eat it whilst the dog's throwing up. I feel like January is literally kicking my butt. We're only a week in and ugh, it's been pretty blooming awful so far. I've also, if you haven't noticed by my voice, got a stinking cold. So I've had nothing but feeling rubbish and lousy since Christmas. Kev just come home from work with a bottle of cowpole because Sienna wasn't feeling very well and a bottle of Sudafed for my cold. <laughs> he was like, I brought home the goods. I was like, thank you very much. So I'm going to go home after these guys have been picked up and dose myself up. Call the midwife starts again tonight. So that makes a very happy me and Felicity. Um, but yeah, January is completely and utterly kicking my butt at the moment. It's not great. Um, I promise you, you'd see me in my pyjamas, but you haven't done. So you're going to have to wait. You'll have to catch me in them another time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go home, get my jammies on, get myself on the sofa, watch Call the Midwife and hope and pray that I wake up tomorrow morning feeling better and that this week goes better than the last week because I don't want a repeat performance of what's been happening in the last week. I keep thinking maybe I should just take a few days off of vlogging because I am proper scratching for content at the moment. It is that boring. Um, but if you have watched this far, thank you. I do really appreciate it. And I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I hope you'll have a great week ahead. And I will see you all very, very soon. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good night, guys. See you soon.